Welcome everyone, top of the hour, and we're going to get started here. I will just share my screen now. Avish, make sure that uh, I in fact have it so you can see it. Can you see my screen? Mm, uh, yep, there it is now. Okie doke. Okie doke. And uh, Bill Deweese, welcome. How are you? Hello, good. How are you, Fred? Good. Good to have you. And since you're... Hi, Avish. Uh, hey, Bill. Yeah, Avish is here as well. And uh, Bill, since you're not often here, why don't we give uh, people a little bit of an update on voice-over-training.org. In your best voiceover voice. Absolutely. I love it. Trying to um, compete with you. Yeah, friend. thanks, sir. <laughs> it's getting very exciting because we actually just launched uh, the very first product, which was um, what I'm entitling my, my uh, voiceover playbook videos. It's kind of a play-by-play -play of actually how I built my business, and it's about four hours worth of video content in seven different videos. Cool. And um, we launched it as a, at a pre-release uh, price, uh, well, maybe a week and a half ago, of $197, and I've sold, as of today, I believe it's nine, okay. nine units. Excellent. Awesome. Okay, and so tell people a little bit, a little bit about how you did it. First off, how many people do you have in your opt-in list? Uh, 151, give or take one or two. 151, okay. And so, and how have you been nurturing those people? Yeah, well, a couple of things. First of all, and I know I've mentioned this before, but I do send a video email to everyone who opts in. Just a little personal message that lasts one to two minutes long. And then I try to do a, um, a follow-up free phone consultation uh, with them, do a 10 or 15-minute phone call. And get to know them a little better. And as I talk to them, I I always talk to them about the videos, and but they weren't available. I would just I would always say I'm working on them. They will be available soon. I'll let you know when they are. And so people were consistently expressing interest in them. Uh, of course, this has been going on for weeks, if not you know months. Uh, so anyhow, we uh, sent out I sent out a sales email to my to my list. Just those people, my opt in list. How many now? And that, uh, that offered them the special price. That's 151 people. That's the 151. Got right. It. Yes. Okay. And, and so you know, orders are still trickling in. Got it. And could you tell me, Bill? And again, Avish, you can ask some questions here too if you want. But my question is, um, have you tracked the people that you, that actually ordered? What percentage of those people did you send a video email to? All of them. So all now. And out of the 151 people, did all of them get video emails as well? Yes. Everybody on that list has received a video email from me. Got it. So that's not really an accurate thing. So tell me what right. you think is the reason why the nine people bought. What do you? Is there anything sort of any commonality yeah. among those people as a group? Well, the, I know they are all people that have, uh, or at least most of them, are people that, that I have talked to. The, you know, we did the personal phone consultation. So that's something they almost all had in common, with the exception of maybe one or two. Uh, the rest of them, they're all people that I did talk to on the telephone, and they all expressed uh, frustration in not being able to grow their business. They were people who had a demo, they have a website, they have ability and talent, but they just felt there was a gap of understanding of how to actually create a business. What percentage of the 151 people did you actually talk to in person? Uh, about, oh boy, Fred, that's about, a really good question. I can't give you an exact number. I'll give you an approximate. Yeah. I'm going to say probably 20. Okay, so my first comment is, you're so you're closing 50% of the people you actually talk to. That way, yeah, and the thing was, the product wasn't even available for, for to most of these people when I talked to them. I hear so this you. is like weeks so, or days after the fact. So here's my suggestion. With after the video email, wait 48 hours, have Mallory call those people up and set up an appointment for their 15 minute consultation. Uh, got it. Yes. Very good. Will do. Uh, Avish, any thoughts? No, that's great. That's, uh, I mean, the video, the video follow up with the consultation sounds great. So, in the video, what do you, what do you say to them in your video welcome after they sign up on your list? Yeah, do you yeah, have a sample uh, of that we could look at? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Can I give uh, you the me, screen? Yeah, give me a second here to get to my okay. f 5 account. But, yeah, go ahead and give me the screen. That's fine. I'll, it'll take me just a second to bring this up. Okay. Com f 5com okay. uh, One second, everybody listening. Bill's going to 
bring this up here. So, do you have it? Are, are you able to see anything? Hold. One second. Yeah, we do. Let me just size this okay. properly because we're recording it as well. Shoot, go ahead. Okay, I'm logging in right now. What I'm going to do is go to my sent folder. Okay. And um, so again, just to clarify for everybody, this is the sort of the standard video email that you're sending out when people opt into your list. Yes, it's very yeah. I rarely uh, go off. I mean, it's almost always exactly the same, okay. with very few exceptions. So you're going to unless there's sent. something I happen happen to know about them that I could like. I'll go to their website if they have one, and I may make a comment on what I see or hear. Got it. Um, okay, let's see here. Sent. Let me find somebody that would be. Um, here we go. Let's try this one. Okay, open it up. Is it still? Is, is it centered so that you can see it? Yeah, we can see it pretty well. Okay. Bringing it up now. Okay. And here we go. his little template and cool video tool. Hey Andy, how are you doing? Bill DeWeese here and I uh, just wanted to send you this brief message to say first of all hello and secondly to say thanks for uh, stopping by my website voice-over-training.org and for opting in. I really appreciate it and I don't know where you're at in regards to voiceover whether it's something you're thinking about or starting to get into or maybe you're a well-established talent at this point uh, but whatever the case is I, I think you'll find content on the website and in the video blog posts and in, particularly in the free audio download that will give you the strategies and techniques uh, to help you accelerate the growth of your business, get to the next level faster, which ultimately, I mean, that's what I set out to do. I wanted to, to certainly make as much money as I could, but I wanted to also enjoy the work as I did it. So hopefully it will serve the same purpose for you as well. If you have a question or comment, please feel free to uh, drop me a line at either voiceoverexpert at gmail.com or this uh, web address, or I'm sorry, this email address, which is Bill at BillDeWeese.com, and BillDeWeese.com is just my primary voiceover website. So, Andy, again, thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. Hopefully, we'll get a chance to meet or talk at some point in the near future. Take care. Hey, Bill, good hey, job. Let me let me. Let me I just want to. There we go. Let me get the screen back here from you. Okay. Anything I need to do, or you? Yeah, I got some comments. One second. Let me just uh, give you. Okay, no, I mean, giving the screen back to you. Yeah. No, I no, you don't. Okay, I, I grabbed it. <laughs> Oh, okay, great. Is, is mine is mine back, Avish? Is yeah, mine, yeah, cool. Uh, Bill, a couple thoughts on that. Number one, um, given this data that we're seeing up on the screen here, I think I think that yes. the the tone and the content of the uh, the video email that you sent out is excellent. The mm -hmm. only thing that I would add is this: from the numbers you're showing me, it's clear that we need to do one thing, which is we need to say. Hey, and one of the things that I provide to everyone like you who takes the time to opt in is a 15-minute free consultation, and I'm going to have Mallory, my able assistant, call you in the next in the next couple of days to set that up. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Okay. You know that uh, works. Here's a question about that. Would you have their phone number though? Uh, no, but I'll have their email. Okay. Well, so good, I mean, we good point, Avish. Do that. Yeah, Avish, what would you suggest then? Yeah, I would. I would. I mean, I was. I was amazed at how many consults you had. Considering that video, you never mentioned the free consults. Even just mentioning, um, you know, if you want a free fifteen-minute consultation, I'd love to chat with you. Uh, drop me a line, or you can say, you know, my assistant will will follow you, follow up with you by email in the next forty hours. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think both of those are good. Um, but but Avisha's point is well taken. You don't have their phone number at this point, but I would definitely because look at these numbers. If you're if, if, if the 10 orders or so that you got, most of them came from people you consulted with, well, let's just keep doing what, what works. And right. uh, I would follow up. And this is a perfect example of how, you know, everybody like poo-poos, you know, using offline marketing. Well, come on. Combining it with online marketing, it can be pretty powerful. So I think the video email, the only thing you need to add there is, like Avish said, is, hey, and if you... Uh, you know, hey, if you want to want to take advantage of the of the fifteen minute free consultation, get back to me by email as, as as soon as you can, or I'll have my assistant contact you to see if there's a convenient time for both of us to get together on the phone. Oh, that's perfect! I love it, and I I, I wish I had thought of that myself. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, I would go for it. So that's uh, Avish. Do you have any other thoughts? 
Uh, well, I had a couple questions. So this is you're pretty much doing the same message on each uh, video, right? It's, it's very similar. If each sometimes, if if I'm able to find their website or their demo, I may make a comment if there's something I particularly like. But aside from that, it's pretty much the same template. That's cool. And do you? Um, I mean, now we're getting real nitty gritty logistics. But do you do this kind of batch at the end of the day or the first thing in the morning with everyone who signed up the last day, or do you kind of do them as they come in immediately so they they get the response right away? It, it, kind of all of them. Normally in the morning, I try to get the ones that come in overnight. If I have time between recording projects to grab them, if I catch one or two that come in, I'll do that. And then I try not to uh, to leave for the you know evening before I've caught up with it. Any more that may have come in, you know, during the day, and typically, you know, I may get only two or three a day, so it's not like there's a huge at this point. There's not a huge daily influx. Avish, what about for you? Cool. Are those numbers doable for you? Which numbers? The uh, in other just words, like sending the yeah. I mean, in other words, let's how many? Let's switch over to you, Avish, and say, okay, so if we go to speakingexpert.com here, which by the way, I see we've changed the look of the site. Um, how many yes what, yes what is the let's let's go over so at speakingexpert.com here let's take a look at some of those numbers okay so give me um, how many opt-ins do we have uh it's a good question i mean it's still pretty low we're still getting about one every day or one every one to two days so we have a total so, of how many maybe uh, a couple hundred I'll have to look I don't think it's quite that high yet. I can look it up exactly. But. Okay. Well, whatever the number is, here's my here's here's the thing. I think now you still have a cool video tool account, right? For just yeah, I have the whatever level the, the yeah. What? Level. Why don't we just why don't we just do what Bill's doing? Why don't we have you every time one comes in? I mean, unless you had hey Bill, tell Avish at what point you couldn't send out personalized video emails when you got how many a day. Oh, I don't know, Fred. I tell you what, I think I would I would work all night if I had to to keep. It's it's such a great connection. Um, I mean, if there were twenty a day, I would do twenty a day. If I get the thirty or forty, that might get a little you know a little more difficult. I agree with you. I think it's really valuable, Vish. So I would. Why don't we stick with a model that works? The other thing yeah. is, I I really liked your um, the template you're using within the Cool Video Tool account. And so, Avish, do you have a decent looking template as well that you use? Uh. No, I mean, I haven't used it in a long time. I'll take a look at what's in there. But I know I I wasn't super happy with what I had before. So, um, well, I, you know, I, can probably, I can probably use that uh, the header we have on the site as kind of a base and just create a real simple template. Basically. Yeah, you know what? I wouldn't let yourself get held up by that. I think it has more to do with the personal connection of Bill. You know, if we're trying to analyze this, and again, this is all speculative. I have no data to support this. But, I mean, what Bill, what do you think the reason is? for the success of doing it this way. I mean, it's sort of obvious. It's personalizing a response with video. Is there anything else that I'm missing there? I don't think so, because that's the comment that I get consistently is people say, I feel like you're a real person. I feel like I can connect and relate and trust you. And I think that that's the big thing that people don't get on the web right now. And so we're going directly against that kind of idea. So. Bill, yeah. if we can if we can increase the number of people you get to talk to for the free consult, and Avish, if we can start doing the video emails combined with you know combined with doing everything that Bill's doing, I think we've got I've got we I think we got a real good uh, model there. Yeah, I'm mean, certainly willing to give that a shot. Bill, could you um would you mind sending me a, a video email uh, or just forwarding one of your old ones or just sending me oh, like, yeah. a short one so I can kind of take a look at your template and stuff? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, and also let me throw out one more thing. Most of these people also that are buying these videos are people who are watching my YouTube videos as well. So that probably plays into it. Yeah, I would I would agree. And so, Avish, I don't know how much stuff. And by the way, let's just now, um, what's the uh, what's what's the YouTube? Let me just pull up the YouTube channel here. Uh, what is your, what's your YouTube? I've got over 60 videos now. And I'm just gonna I'm gonna pull this one up. Let's see if this is it. Yep, you got. I've got. I'm showing 59, so maybe that's off, huh, Bill? Hello, Bill Dewey's here from. Yeah, it's uh, mine. Show, shows between 60 and 70. Okay, so whatever the number is, 
Avish, he's got a whole boatload of these videos in YouTube. And I think that, you know, again, there's over over 60, according to Bill. And if you look at the lengths of these, here's 5 and 4, 803, 949, 14, 10. So anywhere between a low of five minutes and a high of 15 minutes. And Bill, how often are you doing those now? About three a week. Yeah, I mean, I, you got it. I, I would let's just follow this template. I think it makes a lot of sense. I mean, Avish, I would, I, you know, if, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I think that he's got a system that's working. Anything else, Bill, you think that's contributing to that, uh, to those numbers? I, I, no, I think that's it. I feel like the video was a real, is really what opened the door, my eyes and the door to this because people began to connect and feel like they knew me. And I think th is once they feel like they know you, and I think that's what video can give us as a tool to use, um, you know, that we become a real person that they can relate to. Do you also think, Bill, it has anything to do with the fact that voiceover people generally tend to stay in the background and by sending a video email, you're being real out front, I think. Yeah, maybe so. And and I do get comments on occasion. People are, are they appreciate the honesty because I, you know, I did that, like, for instance, I get a lot of comments about the week where I actually shared the numbers, my daily numbers, you know, basically the, sales numbers from voiceover. Excellent. Sorry to interrupt. I'm just getting excited over another thing here, which is I would ha I would analyze, if you take a look here, simple care, if you can see my screen here, simple vocal care for the voiceover artist, 80 views. Anatomy of a winning week recording voiceover is 171. I would take a look at the patterns for which of these are getting the greatest views and start to analyze. And as you probably already know, it seems to me, uh, here's voiceover technique with Dan, the guy that's the expert. That was nice because uh, he probably shared it with right. his group as well. But I would look at, at and see what's getting you know the, the, the greatest number of views and try and give people more of what they already claim they like. Right. No, that makes sense. As a matter of fact, it's funny. As I look at that, you're right. Those are like the two videos, the two highestly viewed are the ones I get the most comments on. Although here's one, drop the announcer, become the real voiceover. So I don't necessarily oh. think it's all business. Some of it is performance too. Yeah. And part of that is that's an older video. So some of these have been up for longer and they're getting more views as well. Some the newer ones obviously aren't. Gotcha. Gotcha. And if anybody's on and they, there's a little bit of noise going on, you may want to mute yourself just until we we get to you. Good. Uh, Bill, any other final thoughts? Uh, that's pretty much it. Pretty yeah, it's a super more, thing. I have one more question for you, Bill. The the product you said was about four hours of video training. Is that, uh, what format is that? Is that like behind a, a login site or is that downloadable or what format was your product in? Yeah, right now it's downloadable. They're just, they're video files. Um, and actually, I'm using Box.net. So when they pay, they'll pay via P uh, PayPal or send me a check. And once I receive payment, I send them a link, a download link. It's a folder, and it has all. It has seven videos, and actually, there's one audio as well of me actually doing real cold calls to prospective clients. And so it's all downloadable. And and Bill, just on a on a on the standpoint for all the JV partners to to listen to on this, make sure and start sending me at the end of each month. You know whatever the totals are in terms of money in, money out. Just so I can see that, I don't think I've gotten one yet. Good to start that. To you see. should have received one on the first of this month. Huh? Eh, no, you actually yeah, you responded to it. It was an Excel spreadsheet. Oh, okay, yeah, that's right. Cool. That that way, I just want to make sure that you know, um, especially when I'm help right. when I'm helping you spend your money, I become I'm really I'm I'm much more uptight with <laughs> other people's money than I am with my own. So. <laughs> okay, sure thing. Okay, um, good. So uh, hey, I now see that. Uh, Bill O'Han. By the way, Mr. Bill O'Hanlon, uh, just to let you know, uh, your sister is on the on the webinar as well. <laughs> Hi, Suzanne. I assume it's my sister, Suzanne. I have two sisters. But, yes, uh, it is. Suzanne. Great. I have to I have to go pretty quick. I have another call in a few minutes, but we're gonna jump on for a couple minutes. Any thoughts on what we've covered? I just got on about five minutes ago. No, I think you know. I keep hearing video, 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 video is the thing, video is the thing, and it gets the most views. So, you know, it seems to me that if you want to get more traffic, video should at least be one part of your, you know, strategy. Yeah, one of the things you missed, you can go back and listen to, but it was it's just some numbers in terms of uh, in terms of Bill DeWeese's success, in terms of mm -hmm. starting with video email, then converting people to the other stuff. By the way, um, back, to go back to you, Bill DeWeese, um, one of the things that we'll want to do is to use, you know, probably wish list to set up a, uh, you know, a protected page for some of that information. And so 
don't worry about that for now, but we'll eventually okay. probably want to put that stuff behind a paywall to make it so that you don't have to send people to downloadable files. Right. No, sounds good. Got it. Okay, Burke Allen, how are you? Burke may or may not be there. I see his phone. He's muted. Or... I have unmuted myself. Sorry. Okay, and we, we you're coming in fairly low, so if you could goose up the volume a little bit. Hello, hello, hello. There we go. Good. So now tell us your progress, uh, Mr. Allen. <laughs> well, I tell, I, you always put me on after Bill DeWeese, and I always suffer by comparison because DeWeese has it down. Um, and I, I think you're right. I think that what we need to do or what I need to do is mirror exactly what Bill's doing. Um, we have been working on our publicity um, uh, seminar website. We've got uh, a lot of work done, and we put it up on a uh, another domain just while we're doing the tweaking to it. Yep. And the domain uh, that we never use, but you're welcome to show it to uh, the group if you want, yep. is theseminarexpert.com. And by the way, I own seminarexpert.com, and unbeknownst to, uh, to Burke, he reserved that domain name before he and I even met each other. Which is kind of that's strange. right, but I'm giving it to Fred. I'm forwarding it over to you. Nah, no big deal. No. I just thought it was pretty funny, though. Um, so Isn't that this, weird? Great minds think alike. And I know. So do ours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so here's what he is looking like now. This looks pretty sweet, by the way. Is has Christy done all of well, this? Yeah, yeah. This is my uh, my lovely wife has done most of the work on this. Wow. And, uh, Tell Christy, great job. So she's getting it together. This is for a a media training event we do once a year here in D.C. where people fly in and we put them on camera and on the radio, behind the scenes, take them through the Fox network so they can really immerse themselves in what they're doing. Tell her she may um, want to put some real so, testimonials on there, Burke. Yeah? Yeah, right, because in other that. words, this down here at the Joe Green Apple Inc., you know, when people start actually going, well, you know what? People aren't going to that yet, but just, yeah, I'm sure she's got a lot of Correct. stuff going on here. So, but this, by the way, this banner. No, 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 you're right. It, it, the banner looks great. Yep, and she did that um, and spent a lot of time on it. And, yeah, so so now it's in my court to go through the copy and, and check all the copy, make sure it's as it should be. Yeah, this this looks really good. I, I, I'm I'm impressed, and I think that, and you took uh, David Hamilton's, uh, you took his uh, his shell, right? That's right. This is that template that he came up with, um, which the, sort of the holdup for us was the last couple of things that we didn't know how to do, and then Dave put a, uh, a little video tutorial together, and then after that, we knocked it out of the park right after yeah, that. Yeah, well, so, tell, tell Chris. So my plan, Fred, is, no, I, and I will. I'll let it, she'll be pleased to hear that. Um, my plan now is essentially to, to build uh, the product site that you and I have done together, the publicity product site, uh, and, and everything that we do using basically Dave's template and, and duplicate everything out of there and contribute to it on a regular basis just like Bill DeWeese has done. Now, if I can drop 30 pounds so I look like Bill DeWeese, then that would help too. Yeah, but then you also, you know what, the thing is, you know, th then then you also need plastic surgery to look like it now. <laughs> then we're we're talking some real money then. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, Bill's system is working, but I don't think it has to do only with his good looks. So. Um, yes, yeah, no, because the content is king. Yeah, so. it really is. And by the way, um, I just saw something that everybody will find interesting. I'm sure that Bill O'Hanlon saw it. It was the uh, the, the the latest book by um, the guy who was employee number 59 at Google. Bill, did you read that article in the Wall Street Journal the day before yesterday? Mr. O'Hanlon? Uh, I read the Wall Street Journal, but I don't remember that article. Uh, I don't remember that he, article. I read it, I'm but quizzing I don't him remember on that his, article. Quizzing him on his Wall Street Journal. Anyway, uh, a guy wrote a book um, in the, uh, it, was, it was being reviewed in the Wall Street Journal, talking, he was employee number 59, and one of the discussion points, and this is very relevant to what you just said, Burke, which is the whole thing is, is that at the time, this guy was hired employee number 59 at Google as a, as a marketing guy, right? And, uh, you know, yep. he kept trying to stress to Sergey and uh, what's his name that, that marketing was really important. And the guy said, you know what? For us, what's more important than marketing 
is really, really good content and having the right system. And so if we end up failing, I don't care about the marketing. I'm going to produce the best quality content. And I mean, so basically he's preaching, you know, the line, which is that, hey, if you can put something together that's really, really good, marketing almost happens on its own. And I'm convinced that Bill DeWeese is a great example of how that's going to work because, and, and we should just copy what he's doing because he's got a boatload of all this stuff and uh, all of us should, should learn from that. That's why, and by the way, each of these webinars is now being recorded and put up on the site. And if anybody is, is on the webinar for the first time, feel free to go to fredgleek.com and click on webinars and you will find, let me just show you that real quick. Uh, if you click on webinars, all of these webinars that we do are recorded and put up here within very short notice. And so you can go and check out the latest ones and we have them going back, you know, a long, long way. So, you know, there's plenty of stuff on there for you to go watch and, and check out. So I would say, you know, good job. So Burke, great job. Um, what else, what else is up with you? Well, uh, here's the thing that I wanted to, to sort of pass along to the other people in the group that I thought was interesting. As Christy got in here and started digging around to do the work, she found a lot of great content that my little company has been producing for the last 10 years, and a lot of it's evergreen. So I think it's the two pieces that you talked about, and we're getting our arms around marrying both of them. It's having a lot of great content, so now I've got that content. The next piece is a systematic drip system to get it out there to people. I mean, she found stuff, Fred, that, that I had done that was pretty darn good that, frankly, I'd forgotten that I had done when she was putting that site together. Some great audios from a couple of years back that were still very relevant. So as you, you know, develop that stuff, save it all, you can repurpose it, and then figure out whatever that system is to use it all and drip it out. Now, the other thing to remember is that for right now, Google... You know, Google is probably searching through both video and audio files for various kinds of keywords. But I would also encourage everyone, um, you know, uh, there was a recommendation that uh, Bill O'Hanlon gave uh, about some organization that does transcription. But I got a gal doing this for, for 30 cents, uh, and she's probably listening to this because she's going to transcribe this. So I've got somebody who will do this for, uh, you know, for 50 cents a minute for the transcription. So... I would encourage you to do that. So, Dirk, if you have audios, um, how much material have you found from way back? Well, and, and again, not even all way back, but just bringing us up to date, you know, hours and hours of audio. And, you know, I've done a monthly newsletter for this company every month since 2003. And, you know, four or five articles in that newsletter. So there's just a lot of stuff. Wow. Yeah, I would get all of that, you know, start to populate populate the site. Because remember, though, you want to populate the authority site to try and get the SEO benefits. But uh, also, the other thing is, let me not forget, uh, all uh, those of you who had a chance to sort of speak to him, um, we've got uh, our latest and newest JV partner, Mark, I think it's Kislich, if I'm pronouncing that right, uh, from Iceland. And all of you guys were nice enough to welcome him on the, uh, the board. But uh, Mark is from Iceland. And at some point, we'll let him make sure and contribute here as he gets a, a little bit of an idea of what we are doing. So uh, thank you, Mark, for being here as well. I see that he's uh, he's he's on the list. Now, I see that I've got a question. Um, let's see. Let's see. Uh, I've just got a question from Gareth uh, that says, if you create YouTube videos with your content, would anyone join you on a webinar if you offered a lesson on the same subject? Uh, the answer is yes, if it's uh, if it's d slightly different and better. I, I don't think that YouTube should be used uh, as something to give out massive amounts of content like on a webinar. When we do these webinars, they go on for an hour. YouTube is now, if, YouTube is best used for small sort of snippets of information as opposed to large files of information that are better done in other kinds of areas. So I think that that's a good question. But I think that, you know, again, YouTube is more, you think of YouTube more as a little bit of, of like a trailer for movies, which is, although the trailer is just a teaser, um, you're not giving out a lot of information when you do your YouTube videos just because there's, they don't really provide you with enough space. So that's how I would use them. And I would also go to voice-overdustraining.org 
to take a look at Bill DeWeese's to get an idea of exactly what he's doing. And Burke, have you looked at, at Bill's site recently? Yes, and that's why I'm so jealous. Because <laughs> yeah. he's, he's generating a lot of content, and he's done it in a pretty short amount of time. You know, just look in the last less than a year how much he's generated. Yeah, that's and the, fantastic. Yeah, he really has. And I mean, well, I just told him, I said, look, you know, just do two to three times a week. And, and, and uh, Avish, you know, I've been telling you this for a long time that if you, if you just do two to three times a week, lots and lots of content, before long, you're just going to have a boatload of stuff. And I mean, it's it, all it can do is help. It just can't hurt. It just can't. Hey, Fred, before you jump uh, to the next person, I do have one question yeah. I want to ask. Um, and, and I'm not sure if there's a right answer here, but in terms of the, the final fulfillment page, if somebody goes through the process and they purchase your product, the only way that I've ever done that before is essentially to list all the documents and all the audio on sort of a hidden page on the website for people to come and, and, and purchase there. Um, it, and I know that, that, that you've shared some documents back and forth as you've tried to figure this out, but is there a, a good way to sort of secure that so that other people, so that the buyer can't, you know, send that link around to other folks, sort of a secured thing? And, and, and I, I may be asking a really stupid question, but I wanted to put it out there. No, it's not a stupid question uh, because uh, there are no stupid questions, to sound very true. All right. Um, the, the answer is... Um, that, you know, I waited, I made Bill O'Hanlon wait for us to make a decision on something we're doing until after I had seen this uh, presentation made by Ann Holland uh, from uh, CoolSubTool.com. And at CoolSubTool.com, that is cool. Notice all my affiliate links, folks. Uh, at, at that site, what, what you'll find is they did a, a summary, and, and, and I found interesting their discussion but for most of our purposes, you know, people right. in this group, all you need is something called wish list. And wish list, I don't know if you have a copy. Wish list allows you to protect individual pages. So say, for example, you were doing some kind of a thing where people would every month, uh, every month they would get uh, something and you could have it so that every you had, you know, 12 pages per year. And each of those pages is going to be protected, so that it allows right. it allows you to protect um, any kind of page, and it's it's very fairly simple, easy to use. And if if that's something that you need access to as a JV partner, you know we have you know we we have I think Bill has a as a multiple person membership, or we can yeah. find some way for for you to do that. So uh, I think that what you're trying there's really two options. You either let people go to a page that's protected where they can get access to all these things. But then your secondary question is, do you allow them to download it or just to view it on the screen? And if you allow them to just view it on the screen, you need a hosting company like Amazon S3, which is very inexpensive, which is how I'm hosting when you look at all these. Now, these aren't protected. These are open to the public, but these do not, this one right here, any of my webinars are not sitting on YouTube. They're too long. They're sitting on an Amazon S3 server, which allows me to, uh, you know, people can watch these. So if I were to click the play button here, it's going to play off the Amazon S3 server, and I'm going to get charged for that. The beauty about it is, is that the rates are so unbelievably reasonable that even with a massive amount of usage, your bill is really, it's just peanuts every month. So you have two choices. And, and, yeah. Two and choice. so, Fred, then, then if, uh, if I understand correctly, the way the protection piece works is it can tell... Um, based on your your ISP or or something, you know, one computer per, per user to that secure page. Is that how it, it can tell who's viewing it? Well, what happens is every time you go to the page, it throws up a little thing that says, give us your name and password to get access to the page. You can't get access to the page without giving us your name and password. And gotcha. yes, uh, let me jump in. And yes, if they start to access it from several ISPs, it will flag it and say, wait a minute, it seems like you're sharing your stuff. You've logged on from three different ISPs or whatever, or three different uh, computers, and you're maybe cheating. So it has a, it has built-in stuff. Burke, Sorry, just, I have to go. Burke, just to remember, gotcha. just to remember, it's sort of like having a, a lock on the door of, of a page. 
so that what can happen is is you can protect your content and that content by the way can either be you know video audio text you know etc those those three are actually the, the primary ones so it basically allows you to lock down a page and have people have to input and if they go to multiple computers like like uh, Bill was just saying they will not be able to uh, you know they will not be able to get access okay and wish list is that service and also cool subtool.com is your your link to it is no that right no uh, here's here's the thing wish list is something you don't have to buy it's a service that allows us to protect pages you don't have okay. to buy that because we as a group have that um, the, other, the other thing is that um, you you also cool subtool is the the, the woman uh, who does who who talks about subscription sites? That's what Cool Subtool is. It's a it's a it's a subscription site program. You don't need that either because we have a membership to that, so you don't need that. Um, what you what you do need is just to let me know when that content is ready, so that we can start you know getting access to it and putting it in the right form, et cetera, et cetera. So there's there's different things that we need to do but all of this technical stuff about putting the content into the various formats that we want you know that's your job but but but, but protecting it is something we can handle from the from the technical side you know with me Stanley and any, anybody else got it all right that clarifies it Thanks. yeah but now also Burke so so here's the thing is that remember you want to take like you said you have all this existing content let's get that together um, and, and one of the things I'm suggesting is that you can find someone to do your transcriptions so that rather than having, you know, when you have audio out there, it, you know, some people would prefer to read. So what, what I've done with some of these different webinars, and not all of them have this, but many of them have, when you see the, the webinars, and I don't know where they are here, where I think if you have to, you may have to click on it. Let me just see here. If with this one, I think, it allows you to um, to see that there's a transcript here as well. Uh, well. Let me see if it's here. I guess it's not right there. Not sure where it is. Let me let's see here. Anyway, so but the point is that if you have audio and video, it might make sense to have it transcribed because you'll get SEO benefit from the words that are on the page. But it'll also give people another option other than just either listening or watching if it's a video. Gotcha. That makes sense. Yep. Yep. Uh, so okay. you would recommend that some of these great audio products that we have, we transcribe them out as well. Yeah, and the reason for that is that I'm and I'm sure if we're talking two or three years from now, um, I don't think that's going to be an issue because I think Google's, uh, you know, stuff, if you will, their systems will be sophisticated enough to go in there and to tell what's in your audio program but still that doesn't negate people's need to want to uh, to want to investigate your content in the manner that is most comfortable for them some of those people would prefer to read uh, whereas from a Google standpoint of just getting SEO benefit you know at some point Google will be able to to look into your audio and your video files and to sort it and and to give your content various Google points based on what's in the content, which is already happening, people claim, to a certain extent right now. Got it. Good, good, good. Okay, so now, let's see here. Um, also, so Burke, is, uh, what, what else you know, do we have to do? You've done some really good work. I just want to start, you know, again, Bill is really moving along here and generating some dollars, and uh, not just for me, but for you, I know that you're, you know, you've got all of your time tied up with 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 your regular you know the, the publicity business and a, a lot you know very little right now is coming in via the product side so that's where I'm trying to to help move that along so if there's anything you need for me just let me know I promise I will I will holler and ask for a lifeline when I need it yeah and so again you know it's in both of our best interest to do that because we can uh, make it so that you have some regular money coming in. And, and Bill DeWeese, of all people, is the most anxious to do that because, as you can see, the guy is working, and he's a workhorse. He's working all the time, and the product business to him, you know, information products for him just means that he has 
less voice over work that he has to do to pay his bills, you know, every month. And so that's what I'm trying to yep. do. And, and he and I are very much in that same boat. You know, we, we both are very much in the service business right now and would like to do more information marketing stuff. Uh, so we can jet set around the country like you do, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you, you, can, you can jet set as long as you can, uh, you can find like ultra cheap fares like I do. That's exactly right. <laughs> good deal. But yeah, again, let me know. And, and I think that, uh, I think that Bill has got a, a good model. Um, cool. Avish, what about you now? Is there, what, what's, uh, what's going on that, that I, anything that I can do to help you move things along faster, quicker, easier? Uh, I don't think so at this moment. I'm pretty, um, I'm pretty excited right now as it is. Cause I got the site redesigned with the new theme and I really like the way it looks. And so I'm kind of excited about it now. Well, let's talk about it. Getting tell back me. on driving traffic towards it. Yeah. Okay. So tell me, um, so, so here's the, the new site and the, the new look. So we've got uh, speaking experts showing speakers at any level how to speak better, make more money, and have more fun. Two experienced professional speakers show you how. You know what I would do, by the way? I, would, I think it would look better if you cap uh, the first letter of every word in this, in this area here, right here. I, okay. would, yeah, I would cap that, except for the, the prepositions. Sure, like title case. Yeah, I would, I would, I would do that. Um, so two experienced professional speakers show you how to speak better, uh, make more money, and have more fun in the speaking. I think that's a great a USP. And here's what we get for free. The free ebook is free ebook, six figure speaker secrets. Learn the seven steps to getting paid speaking gigs in 90 days or less. And again, what do you have any data on how well this is closing, people? Not yet. The site uh, this just went live yesterday, so I will okay. start accumulating data on how the new layouts doing cool and so are you, but getting... if you go in so this is the home page and then inside is a uh, slightly different you know because it's not had the big video there where should i click on uh you can click on blog or really any one of the pages every other page has the same layout okay so i just clicked on blog let's see what it looks like here you got it whoa there we go a little uh little uh pop-up action there kill oh yes yep here we go so there's some good content there as well. Yes, Siri Bob. What about products here? Are products up and running? Or is he, I know you just launched it, so I'm not giving yeah. you any time. Yeah, product. This is the page I want to go back. I feel like this page is too confusing right now. I feel there's too much on it. So that's kind of one of the next steps is to streamline the product page, make it more of a yeah. – I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do yet, but I want to make it more streamlined. Yeah, I agree, and I, I would suggest so this, this is the layout of the old one. You know what I would suggest you do? Here's my suggestion, and again, uh, I, I'm I'm pretty sure this would be the way I would do it. Why not take every every module and put it on a separate page, and then have one module that is the everything module, which it tells about the whole thing. So it doesn't. Oh, we have that already. Oh, we That's do. the way it is. Yeah, it's just this kind of general product page. I think is a little confusing. If you click. If you scroll down and click on more information for any of the modules, it has its own dedicated page. And that first link to check it out here now goes to the full program. Um, but, yeah, I just think this page where people may go, uh, you know, there's too much going on right now. Yeah, I would agree. I think it's a bit confusing. So, And also, it, it's, this becomes sort of like the catalog page. I think we should also be thinking about, you know, a sales page just for the big product. Uh, we have that. It's just not on its own site right now. It's uh, where where is it? It's, it's somewhere. Uh, I believe if you click that first link to check it out here now. Okay, gotcha. Got it. Okay, here it is. Uh, get the title. Yep, yep, yep. Got it. So this is good. So they can. Yeah, this looks pretty well done. Again, this is a lot of stuff like we had before, and it it is a lot. <laughs> I love how long this goes, man. This is like the product, the mega product. And I mean, this yeah. This is a heck of a I product. like this page. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of stuff on here. Yeah, I mean, and I think if we combine, I think the cleaner layout and then combine that with, um, maybe I'll combine that with using some of Bill's techniques to build some rapport. You know, if we can get more people to this page, I think, uh, you know, I think we should definitely start seeing some better conversion. Yeah, because I mean, we have, this is a great product. 
you know, we just have to make yeah, sure. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's awesome. It's just uh, got to get people there now, I think. Yep, I agree. So now let's see. You know what I wanted to do? We got about 15 minutes left till the top of the hour here. Uh, we got one question earlier from Gareth. Um, I hope I pronounced that right. Is Does anybody else have a question? If you do, put it in the question section there, and I will uh, find you uh, when you ask a question. So if you have a question, now's the time to ask. Avish, do you have any thoughts or ideas before I go to that? Uh, no, I don't. I mean, I like uh, I got some stuff to do, and I like you know what we learned from Bill, so I'm feeling pretty good right now. Yeah, I am too. I mean, I really like you know Bill is uh, you know Bill's making it happen, and the thing that makes me excited is that Bill is an example of someone. It's not like he doesn't have anything else going on throughout the day. He's got to be doing this. You know, I, I was just working on a on a on a piece for you know whether or not you can do information marketing part time. And the answer to me is, yeah, you can. You can start to build your business that way, doing it just the way he's done it, which is, you know, he's got a full-time voiceover business, and he's doing this almost on the side, if you will. And uh, mm-hmm. the, the one thing I did coach Bill to do, which he's going to be doing, is I said to him, by the way, he's decided to invest in the Ermel deal, which is going to be about yeah. ten grand. And the thing that I said to him is, you know, in order for us to – really get that money back as quickly as possible. One of the things that I had him do is I said to him, and I think that everybody listening to this, you know, to this webinar right now could use this, which is a lot of times people concentrate on the less expensive products thinking, well, you know, at least I can sell some of those. I told Bill exactly the opposite. I said, Bill, now that you're going to invest in this, let's put together the copy for your $10,000 one person three day voiceover adventure, whatever he's going to call it. And I said, you know what, if we get a number of people going to the site, if we close just one of those people on a $10,000 deal, we pay back you know, a full $10,000 investment. So I, I would rather have people work on getting their, uh, you know, getting their stuff, uh, getting their higher price product you know, put into something first. And that might be something, Avish, that we think about here as well, which is, you know, what is the, what is the high priced offering that we could get? you know, give to people and let's put the sales copy together for that. I think that would be pretty helpful. You with me? Avish? Avish? Yeah, yeah, no, I think that's uh but I mean so it does so, make a lot of sense. Yeah, we need to pick out what it is and then and then work on it um and work on some of the copy. So any questions from anyone else in the audience here who is on the webinar, if you do, put it in the question section, um, and I will be happy to answer it. Uh, Burke, any other thoughts on your part? Well, uh, just uh, you know, on a side note, uh, for all of our folks who are out on the West Coast, if, um, if you are available, Fred and I are going to be speaking at a, a publishing event on August 1st in Anaheim. It would be great to meet you in person, and a lot of this stuff really plays into the work that we do with authors. Um, it's yeah, publishingseminar.com. Okay. Yeah, and that's coming up August, August first in Anaheim, California. And if you are any, if you know anyone, please send them the information. Thanks for reminding me there, Burke. Um, yeah, it's going to be a good event, and you know we'll be there, and, and we always build time in to answer your questions. And it's good for information marketers as well as authors. You know, it's essentially the same way to get your information out there. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I agree. Um, I think uh, Gareth, if you just asked another question, it seems to be the exact same question you used to ask. So, n- not going to mess with anybody. Have any other questions, thoughts, ideas, comments, anything else? Nope. I'm not going to press anyone. So we have reached the end of our webinar. And again, we do these, like I said here, every Wednesday at 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific. Thank you all for being on the call of Ethan Burke and or earlier uh, someone else. Uh, Bill O'Hanlon, and also Bill Dewey. So thanks, folks. We'll see you all next week. Tell your friends, tell your relatives.